Okay, so let's say um, I wanted to perform a stratified sample and I've got, in this, let's go with a context problem here, um, I've got 45 people in a room were born in the UK and 105 people were born in the US, okay? Now, the thing is that these are distinct categories. Uh, no one could be born in both the UK and the US. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. So they don't overlap. And the reason why I might do this, rather than combining all of those people together and then trying to do a simple random sample, is that I could, in the simple random sample, uh, get more people from the UK, for example, in my sample, than those from the US. And that could then have an effect upon my survey's results if there is some, uh, I would be expecting some difference in opinion on certain items in the uh, questionnaire, for example. So what I would probably want to do is I would want to get a proportional representation of the UK and the US here. So let's say I wanted uh, 30 people in my sample. Okay, so I wanted a sample of 30. Well, I know that together, adding the total up, I'm going to have 150 people in the room. So for the UK, I would want 45 out of the 150. So the proportion of UK people uh, born in the UK out of the 150, I would want that to be of the 30. So 45. Uh, divided by 150 and then times by 30 gets me 9. So I would need 9 people to be picked from the UK crowd and for the US, well it would be 21, right? Because uh, I've picked 9 from the UK, it would be 21 from the US. But the calculation would be 105 divided by 150 times by 30 and that would get you the 21. So I need to pick nine people who were born in the UK, 21 people who were born in the US, okay? And in order to pick those, I could use a simple random sample or systematic sampling to pick those people from those groups, okay? So I would be sampling within this procedural sampling, okay? Um, now the weakness of stratified sampling and the disadvantage is that because you're splitting your cohort up into distinct groupings, um, that then can become costly in trying to make sure you've got a certain number here and a certain number there, okay? So um, it wouldn't really work for uh, people who are in the UK at the moment um, and those people who were born in the UK and people who were born in the US and trying to sample 30 from that, it just wouldn't really make sense to do that, okay? So there is a disadvantage to it, but it does have the advantage that you are then able to focus uh, your attention on particular areas to see if that has an influence on your questionnaire's results.